everyone. Welcome to Yankee Now with Melly Mel. I'm Melissa. Today I am bringing you the newest box by the Wizarding Trunk. This is part of their quarterly subscription service. It is one of their special edition boxes and this one is themed to those we love to hate. Keep watching. Alrighty guys, so like I said in the intro, today we are opening the newest quarterly box by the Wizarding Trunk. Their quarterly boxes are their special edition boxes. And this one is themed to those we love to hate. This is so exciting. I just got this just in time for Thanksgiving. I am actually recording on November 23rd, so Thanksgiving's Eve. <laughs> But that is so cool. I want to say that I do love the new packaging that we have for the Wizarding Trunk. I also love that this was actually packaged in a plastic bag. So that way I don't have to peel off an address label from the box, right? And ruin it. So I do love this. Now the boxes look like actual trunks. Here we have a reference to Rita Skeeter. And there's more. Here we have a reference to Dolores Umbridge and here we have a reference to Bellatrix. There we have Gilderoy Lockhart. So I am really excited to open this. So let's get started. And oh, I love this. Look at this sneak peek. Okay. Let's start with the obvious. <laughs> Here we have Scavers. Now this is someone, Peter Pettigrew, <laughs> that we love to hate. I definitely do not care for Scavers or Peter Pettigrew. So this is really cool. It's actually a pretty decent size for a uh, rat plushie. This is cool though. Now I can just add this to my shelves here somewhere. I didn't have any scabbers related items, so that is pretty unique. I'll put this right here. And there's more, of course. You know what? This pink box is calling my name. I am assuming this is going to be something to reference Dolores Umbridge, right? I love the color. So let's see what this is. Ooh, this is pretty cool, you guys. I shall not tell lies, right? <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to like take it out of the little packaging. This is very clever, extremely clever. So nicely made too. Wow. How cool is this quill pen? It is so nicely designed. I really love this. Okay, that was pretty cool. I love the color of the box. I love the quill. And of course, it's cool that we have scabbers, but come on guys, we have a box packed full of goodies as usual. So let's see what we have here. Oh, this is so cool. I will totally rock these earrings. Ah, they kind of remind me of the uh, Death Eaters. I'm not too sure what this is exactly supposed to be. Fake fan moment. <laughs> now a little disclaimer. I am a newer Harry Potter fan. I got into Harry Potter already in my 30s. So if I see something that I don't quite recognize right away, bear with me. 
Uh, but these earrings, um, they kind of look like they are made of a raven skull. So it just kind of reminds me again of the Death Eaters. So look at this. All right, I can't wait to um, read about this and the cheat sheet. So I'm gonna put this to the side. I'll totally be wearing that. And oh, we have a key to the Ministry of Magic. That's what it looks like to me. Oh, I am loving these keys. This is beautiful, you guys. All right, let me show you close up. let's continue with our box okay so ooh, we have a pin i do love my pins and the wizarding trunk typically have some pretty cool pins this is pretty cool all right let's go with a bigger item so ooh, it has mm so Ministry of Magic. All right, let's go ahead and open this. Oh, I am excited. Okay. Oh my gosh, those are so cool. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I love it. This is declaration number 45. No trolls permitted in the dungeon. I freaking love this. I think I might actually put this on my Christmas tree. And then it'll end up somewhere here. Oh, I love this. Okay, I think so far, this has been my favorite item, the declaration. Okay. Ooh, we have a potion. I do love my potions. Ooh, asphodel. Powdered root of asphodel. Ooh, this is by Pure Blood Apothecary. Oh, I love that the wax seal now says Pure Blood Apothecary. It says powder root of asphodel crushed and hand ground with a brass mortar and pestle. This is a really cool looking potion. Something a little bit different, right? Ooh, I really like this. Okay, so those two so far have been my favorites. And I can assume this is going to be another Dolores Umbridge item. Yeah, this is so cool. You know what? I secretly wanted something like this. This is so cool. I really, really like this. Super cool item to include in here. And let's go with another one of these bigger boxes. Okay. See what we have in here. Okay. Oh, I love those snacks for the items so much. Even though the Laura's Umbers might not be a favorite of mine, she's definitely one of those that we love to see. Oh, this is so cool, you guys. I can honestly say this is one of the best the wizarding trunk boxes we have gotten i really love everything so far but wait there's more okay so let's go with another one of the bigger items in here or boxes so i wonder what this could be 
Okay. The anticipation. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh. I love this. Okay, this is my mock shot. Smile. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, okay. So we have some runic symbols here as well. So I am going to try to decipher this real quick. So be right back. Okay, so I know a little bit about runes and I tried to figure out if this means anything, but I can't get anything that makes sense to me. Um, so the wizarding trunk, if this means something, Dustin, let us know or Danny at the wizardry workshop let us know because I am really curious I just uh, started writing a bunch of letters and stuff here he's trying to figure out if there's any kind of hidden message here but either way I love this all right so we still have a few more items in here we have something in it Ooh. <laughs> we have a ring Ooh, this is really cool, you guys. We have a few more things in here. Oh, I love this. This is one of the nicest pins I've seen. Here we have the Malfoy family portrait. This pin is stunning. Oh my gosh, let me show you close-ups. And running's drills. Okay, if my memory serves me correctly, if I remember correctly, this is to reference Harry Potter's uncle, Mr. Vernon Dursley. If I remember correctly, this is to reference him. That is someone who I also definitely love to hate. Oh, this is freaking cool. Oh, this is something uh, practical, actually. Ah, it's like I have my very own uh, screwdriver with different screwdriver heads. Okay, if this is freaking cool. I actually really, really like that. That is so clever. Right, down to the final two items. These are paper products. Here we have most charming smile oh this is the witches union this certificate is awarded to the winner of the annual most charming smile award in association with magical monthly magazine i am assuming this is to reference gilderoy lockhart that is pretty cool and this is our last item it's the enchanter and this is the November 2022 issue. It says Lives and Lies of Notorious Witches and Wizards. So this is a pretty cool. And I'm just going to kind of glance through the magazine. And now, let's go over the cheat sheet. Now look at the back of this. This is pretty cool, but let's uh, go over the cheat sheet. All right, so let's start reading. Again, the Wizarding Trunk presents those we love to hate. Item number one is the Manor Key. This key will get you into the manor. But be careful, the residents are in the nicest bunch. 
Ooh. Ah, maybe I was wrong. I could have sworn this key was for the Ministry of Magic, but then I guess it's perhaps for the Malfoy Manor. I think so. <laughs> Either way, I love it. Um, item number two is the Most Charming Smile Award. Congratulations, you won this year's Most Charming Smile Award. Now, the key was designed by JP Mistlecrow, and the Most Charming Smile Award is by Wizardry Workshop. Item number three is the Family Ring, worn by one of the youngest people we love to hate. And this is by here.b.monsters. Next, item number four, we have numbered plaque that's designed in-house, your legal issued number plaque. You'll be doing time with some of those that we love to hate. Item number five is bird skull earrings. This new set of earrings will pair perfectly with a notorious villain's bird skull necklace. All right, fake fan moment. Who would that be? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Um, item number six, I squad pin. That's by JP Mistlecrow. Would you have joined this squad for the extra credit? Item number seven is the declaration ornament by Wizardry Workshop. Hang this ornament to let everyone know the rules. Which of the three did you receive? Oh, that is so cool. Well, mine is number 45, no trolls permitted in the dungeon. So I'm curious to see the other declarations. Uh, item number eight is the powdered root of asphodel by Wizardry Workshop. This ingredient is very useful in potion making bottled by pure blood apothecary. Item number nine is the portrait pin. This magical family portrait hangs in the manor. I love this pin. It is stunning. Item number 10 is the miniature tool set. Tools purchased from a company that primarily makes drills. This was this sign in house. I thought that was really cool. Item number 11 is the common rat design in house. This appears to be a common everyday rat, but appearances can be deceiving. You know, I still, I'm still thinking back to the key. I don't know why I thought it was the Ministry of Magic, but Malfoy Manor. <laughs> so like, oh my goodness, I, I don't know how I didn't think of that. Anyway, item number 11 was the common rat, which would be Scabbers. Item number 12 is the cat plate, which I loved. It was designed in-house. How adorable are these two little kittens? Item number 13 by Wizardry Workshop is the Enchanter. This magazine features an article about the lives and lies of notorious witches and wizards in history. Written by a talented team and designed by Wizardry Workshop. Item number 14 is the mini pudding cake. Now don't go dropping this cake on anyone's head this time. Item number 15 is the peacock feather quill with Stan designed in-house. Draw the attention you seek while signing your autograph. So I guess it's kind of like a reference to then maybe both Gilderoy Lockhart and Dolores Umbridge. Let me know what you guys think. This box was freaking amazing, as usual. The next quarterly theme is the Keeper of the Keys and Magical Beasts. The Wizarding Trunk just posted something about that on Instagram today. I have to show you what they posted. You should be seeing that right now. I think this upcoming box is gonna be amazing, especially because the actor that portrayed Hagrid, Robbie, he recently passed away. So I feel like this box is gonna be um, emotional on so many levels and very special and magical. So I cannot wait for that box. But now let's go over favorites and least favorites. Okay, you guys, so like I said earlier, this box was phenomenal. I have a lot of items that I would consider as favorite items, but I would say my favorite item is the declaration ornament super cool i didn't have anything like this that's a favorite the pin is a favorite for sure 
I also really like the potion. I'm a sucker for potions, so definitely a favorite. I also really love the plate. That's another favorite. Uh, okay, so I think I'm going <laughs> to uh, keep those as my favorites. I do love all of them. Least favorite... I don't even know. I would say, if anything, maybe the ring. Only because I'm probably not going to wear this. <laughs> and um, I just don't really know what to do with it. And I think that's why I would name this as my least favorite not that i didn't like it i think it's cool but if i do have to pick a least favorite it would probably be the ring everything else i really 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 love so let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this box which item was your favorite and least favorite as usual if you love the things that i talk about definitely subscribe comment like and hit that notification bell so that you can keep making out with me and of course if you're watching this on Thanksgiving Day here in the U.S., happy Thanksgiving. Bye!